If you watch Jimmy Butler play one game, it's always impressive how good he is at finishing around the rim. Through contact, athletic finishes, even with chaos around him. He's so composed around the rim and it's fun to watch. So I'm going to break down how he does it and give you some of these techniques that you may be able to apply into your game. So the first thing we'll talk about is his patience around and approaching the rim. He's not racing to get there. He's more so worried about control and having time to make an ideal play. He'll even take these longer, slower steps at times to slightly slow himself down, get a better feel for the defense, and finish in control or even letting that defender pass as he slows down and makes a bit of contact. Now, of course, it helps when you're taller and athletic, but this is undoubtedly applicable to everyone. And of course, patience also applies to coming to a two-foot stop, pivoting, and working out of that, something that many players in the league don't utilize as much. Another quality he's really strong at is rotating as he's finishing. On all of these, you'll notice how much he's turning during that finish. Mainly, he's protecting the ball at first by facing away from the defender, and then rotating as he's going up for that finish. This can be tough to have the touch to do this, but it opens up a lot of options. And this kind of goes hand in hand with being able to change direction on his finishes, like you see here. Notice also the timing of his jumps and how unpredictable they are. Sometimes he'll jump from crazy far, which catches that big off guard simply because he's not expecting it. But then when they do expect it, he takes that extra dribble and throws off their timing. The next tool is this hop that he'll use a lot. Number one, he seems to jump pretty well out of this hop, which helps because he's able to get into pretty athletic jumps out of slow speeds. And he'll even use it purposefully to slow down, create contact, and be controlled on that finish. It's also a pretty good tool for rotating like we talked about earlier. He's also crazy strong with the ball, which is partly a physical thing with him just being crazy strong, but it also involves some techniques, most of which are pretty damn basic, like the good old hold the ball with the elbows out idea. But this is actually something he does a lot and allows him to create legal contact in space. Like here, he's protecting it, but on his way up to holding it with both hands, he gives the defender a little bump, which is never getting caught. Also, his in-air focus is unmatched. No matter if he's getting hit, rotating, whatever, he's still able to remain fully locked in on the rim and finish, then usually still land with control. Then finally, a lot of the buckets he gets around the rim are just dirty buckets, offensive boards, loose balls, off of cuts, easy finishes. If you take these out of his game, he's easily averaging three to four less points a game. Yes, it's because he's athletic, but there are plenty of dudes built like Jimmy athleticism wise, but not that many have such a knack and willingness to get the ball and score it so often. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and took something from it. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at by any means basketball for a lot more like this. Stay tuned.